hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you a problem about normal form in my last video we have already seen a problem right we already did a problem about this normal form or canonical form now let us see another problem like how do we calculate the rank using canonical form because it has some more complicated uh, row and column transformations and after this i'll explain you one more problem also from normal form only so total three problems why because i want to cover like so a range of problems a wide range of problems so that you'll have more exposure okay you'll practice better so one more thing guys if you just listen to the video you'll not get it it's not theory subject it's math so you have to obviously practice otherwise you will not get you will definitely forget in exam now out of my experience i'm telling you now you'll feel okay yeah okay 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 everything is going fine okay okay you'll feel but when you start doing it on the paper in the exam i bet you will not be able to do it perfectly if you don't practice now okay so let's get started okay we have a 4 by 4 matrix here right so normal form is nothing but you should get i3 and all zeros that is what normal form actually is so first what we will do is what do we need here first row first element we need one why because in order to make the calculations easier that's all simple so we have one here right so let us interchange r1 and r2 so first step is to interchange r1 and r2 then what do you get 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 next 2 3 minus 1 minus 1 3 1 3 minus 2 okay na done na hmm. now see this should be 1 done this should become 0 0 0 we will do column wise like we will first make first column element 0 next second column element 0 third column element 0 fourth column element 0 we will go according to the column wise okay na now what is our target we should make this one as 0 this and this all these three should be made zeros right so basically here 1 2 2 Two, one three is a three. One six is a six. Right. So simple. What will be the operations? R two will become R two minus two R one. Next, R three will become R three minus three R one. Simple. See why we want always first column, first element as one is. Calculations will become easier. You need not check like uh, two times or three times or four times or like or otherwise fractions are. Well, you need not check all those things. Okay, so you can directly do it because it is one. Two minus two will give you zero. So how to get to one into two? One into two is nothing but r one into two. Next, three in one into three is nothing but r one into three. Like that, you will easily get it. And r four will become r four minus six r four. right sorry r1 done so what the matrix will become now 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 now this one will become r2 will become 2 minus 2 into 1 2 minus 2 is 0 next 3 minus 2 into minus 1 3 minus of minus is plus 2 3 plus 2 5 okay na next Minus one, minus one, minus two into minus two, minus one plus four. You will get three. Next, minus one into minus one plus two into sorry, minus two into minus four. Minus one, minus of minus is plus. So minus one plus eight. You will get seven here. Okay, done. Next, what we will get? Let us see. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now you can see, I guess. Next, three minus three will get zero because three minus three into R one, three minus three into one, three minus three zero. Next, one minus three into minus one, minus three into minus one. You will get three one plus three four. Right. Next. Okay. Let us use this as rough. Next, three, three minus. Three into minus two. Three plus six, you will get nine. So nine here. Next minus two. Minus two minus three into minus four. Minus two plus twelve, ten. Okay. Next third. 
sorry fourth row let us do so fourth row is here right so fourth row six minus six into one zero next three minus six into minus one three plus six nine next zero zero minus six into minus two twelve next minus seven minus seven minus six into minus four you will get minus seven plus twenty four twenty four minus seven seventeen okay so what did you get you got a matrix like this okay so now what is our target we got all these numbers as zero our right? target is to make this column values as zeros so in order to make that zeros before that you can observe a pattern here 9 minus 4 5 12 minus 9 3 17 minus 10 7 so what you can do here is you can transform r4 how let us see now so you can do like r4 becomes r4 minus r3 so then what you will get these three rows will be same so let us write it here 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 0 5 3 7 0 4 9 10 now r4 will change how see r4 minus r3 right 0 minus 0 0 next 9 minus 4 5 next 12 minus 9 3 17 minus 10 7 this is 10 okay so this is the new matrix we got so what can we can observe here r2 and r4 are same so now if you subtract r2 and r4 this complete r4 will become 0 right let us do that operation now so what we are doing now we are subtracting r3 and r4 so r4 will become okay sorry so you have to able to see this matrix also right I'll, I'll write it here r4 will become r4 minus r2 r4 minus r2 is nothing but only r4 is getting changed the remaining three as it is so 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 0 5 3 7 0 4 9 10 now r4 0 minus 0 0 5 minus 5 0 3 minus 3 0 7 minus 7 0 okay na so we got a new matrix now again now what we have to do what is our target we need to make second column elements as zeros right so if you can see this is supposed to become one so let us concentrate on ones later now what is our target to make these this one as zero this 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 should become zero this is already zero so now our target is to make this element as zero got it so let us work on it how to make it as zero one plus of you know one minus one what do you get you get it as zero right so what you can do now is otherwise let's first make this one as one only first let us do do that so how do you make this one as one it you here you can see it clearly five minus four you will get one right so what r2 will become r2 will become r2 minus r3 okay so 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 and r2 will become r2 minus r3 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 4 is 1 3 minus 9 is minus 6 7 minus 10 is minus 3 the re two remaining two same 0 0 0 0 okay now what is our target we should make this one as 0 so in order to make this one as zero what we can do r1 plus r2 we can do minus one plus one will become zero right so r1 will become r1 plus r2 so what you will get one one plus zero is one one minus one plus one is zero minus two minus six is minus eight minus four minus three is minus seven the r2 will be same okay so now next what is our next step what we have to convert now 4 right so how do you make this 4 as 0 because we are going column wise in this column all the elements except 
the first element have become zero now in this column except this one all the other elements should become zero so in order to make other elements zero we have already first and fourth one we already made zero so this third one how to make it zero 4 minus 4 you will get 0 so how to get 4 4 into r2 simple so what will be the transformation operation now r3 will become r3 minus 4 r2 right so r1 and r2 you can write it as it is 1 0 minus 8 minus 7 and 0 1 minus 6 minus 3 mm. now r r3 minus 4 r2 right 0 minus 4 into r2 so 0 minus whatever 0 only now see mm. r3 minus 4 into r2 4 minus 4 into 1 what you will get 0 next r3 9 minus 4 into minus 6 so what you will get 9 plus 24 24 plus 9 is 30 33 mm. next 10 10 minus 4 into minus 3 so what you will get 10 plus 12 22 okay like that see you have to do it uh, roughly side uh, you know at, a, at one side you do it roughly otherwise calculation mistakes will happen so if you are having free uh, you know you know if you are having enough time you can do it separately now fourth one as it is zeros you will get okay so what should we do next this is done so this is done this is also done now our target is this one okay so this element should become one and this element should become zero right this element should become one and these two elements should become zero so how do you do that so for doing that let us first make this one as zero okay how do you make that one as zero in order to make minus eight as zero do you have any ones in the row no you don't have that's why let us go to column operations since in normal form you can also you can do the column operations right so minus eight how do you get zero minus eight plus eight you will get zero how to get this plus eight 1 into 8 1 into 8 is nothing but c1 into 8 8 c1 you have to do so what is the what is that you're going to get c3 will become c3 plus 8 c1 okay so what you will get 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 why i'm writing column basis we are doing column operation right uh, minus 8 see here minus 8 plus 1 into 8 minus 8 plus 8 0 so you will get 0 next minus 6 plus 0 into 8 whatever you get minus 6 again same for 33 also because you are having 0 here 33 plus 6 into 0 is 0 33 only you will get 0 and minus 7 minus 3 22 and 0 right next our next target is to make what our next target is to make minus 6 as 0 right but to make minus 6 as 0 if we apply column operations of course we don't have option to apply row operation right because here we have 0 here we have 0 here we have 33 so we don't have option to make row operations we should obviously go with column operation only but if you are going with column operation the value of this 33 will change it may become even bigger number or it may become so that is why first let us try to reduce the 33 so what we will do is r3 by 11 let us do because 33 22 both are divisible by 11 right so then what the matrix will become 1 0 0 minus 7 0 1 minus 6 minus 3 0 0 33 by 11 is 3 and 22 by 11 is 2 okay done now what shall we do our target is to make minus 6 should become 0 this should become 1 this 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 should become zeros right so in order to make this one as 0 what you can do you can do it with the help of this one minus 7 plus 7 is what 0 so you can do column operations here so what column operation you can do here is mm c4 will become c4 plus 7 c1 then what you will get c c4 
in the sense the first three columns are same right 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 minus 6 3 0 okay first three columns are same now c4 minus 7 plus 1 into 7 1 into 7 is 7 minus 7 plus 7 0 and minus 3 plus 7 into 0 is 0 so all these three are zeros right so no change these three values will be as it is minus 3 2 0 okay that is the matrix you will get and you got this one as 0 your next target is to make actually we forgot making minus 6 as 0 right so now let us make it as 0 so in order to make minus 6 as 0 what you can do you can apply by using row or column transformations anything you can do by using this 3 or by using minus 3 anything you can do right so let us go with minus 3 so c3 will become or you can do c2 as well otherwise that is best that is more better actually okay c3 becomes c3 plus 6 c2 because here we have one right uh, so first two columns will be same mm, now c3 plus 6 c2 right c3 plus 6 into 0 whatever you get 0 only now minus 6 plus 6 into 1 minus 6 plus 6 0 next 3 plus 6 into 0 is obviously 0 so you will get 3 only next 0 as it is next 0 minus 3 2 0 don't worry guys uh, we have come to the end of the problem only only few are left okay don't worry so what is you, what is our next step we need to make minus 3 as 0 and 2 also as 0 we should do right so, so in order to make minus 3 as 0 let us again use c2 only so c4 will become c4 plus 3 c2 okay minus 3 plus 3 will become 0 right 1 into 3 is 3 so 3 minus 3 you will get 0 so that is why we are using 3 c2 so, so c1 c2 c3 will be as it is you can write them as it is 0 0 0 3 0 0 mm. first element 0 plus 3 into c2 is 0 only next minus 3 plus 3 0 2 plus 0 into 3 is again 0 so you will get 2 only next 0 only guys if you practice only then only you can understand otherwise you will not understand i am telling you again and again don't take risk by just listening now what else is left this should become 1 and this should become 0 right so let us do that so what we will do is r3 by sorry not r3 we say it as this one is column right c3 by 3 comma c4 by 2 so 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 3 by 3 1 0 by 3 is 0 0 by 3 is 0 that's why these two zeros as it is we took here also 0 as it is again these two also as it is because 0 by 2 is obviously 0 and 2 by 2 is 1 0 okay okay so what else is remaining the last one this we have to make it as 0 so that is very easy for you right what you can do c4 will become c4 minus c3 1 minus 1 is 0 right so the remaining three will be same column the remaining three columns will be same so let us write them directly one zero now c4 minus c3 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 again 0 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 minus 0 is 0 so what did you get a third identity matrix third order identity matrix 3 by 3 identity matrix surrounded by zeros which is nothing but i3 0 0 right so the rank will be equal to 3 okay Oh my god what a long problem i am really surprised like how you guys will do it but still you have to do it okay so this is how you calculate the rank using the normal form nothing but you have to make all the elements zeros in the order so th this is the problem and the rank of this is three let us do one more example in this normal form i'll explain it in the next video thanks for watching the video till the end patiently let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel and if you're having any suggestions let me know in the comment section